we have this Chinese Tiangong-1 that is scheduled to come into Earth's atmosphere here at any time. We have some footage here where they were tracking this via telescope, locking onto this, and it was brightening. And look at this. This is a new site that I came across that tracks all these different objects out here in space. Now, out much further than this, and it's not going to show this here on this, would be the Van Allen belts, the radiation belts that I believe encases this planet and all of this, keeping everything within it. And you're going to have to pass through that before you get to the moon or get, get out to any other planetary body out there. Those Van Allen belts are key. But these rings where the satellites sit, they're not that far out there, as you can see here. And there's a major series right here at, at this distance. And then there's all kinds of junk and debris. This is uh, literally quite an amazing little sight here as everything is in motion. Because it can be put into motion in real time. Moving. And you can see all the different components, all the different satellites that have been launched over time. Even some that are just parts and pieces. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to, I'm going to type in Tiong Gong. One. All right, there's Tiong Gong one and two. Here's one. And there it is. This is it. Moving. It's tracking it here in real time. Back out some. Not sure at this angle what it's coming up on. Uh, it looks like it's about to come up on Indonesia. This looks like it's the southern tip of Africa and Madagascar. This looks like Indonesia. So that's the course that it's on, and it's going to continue on this route. Now, you can track this right here along with all of these other objects that are going around. Or you can also come over here and see... Here we go. Here's a confirmation. Getting ready to come right over Indonesia. This is uh, N2YO.com. This is where we track North Korea's Shining Star Satellite. And it passes over the United States. Right here on this site. And you can see right here, Tiangong 1 is about to go right over Indonesia and then come back down. And it just did pass over the United States. You can see right there, it keeps wanting to pull back center because I got it centered. This time it's going to go through right off the coast, and then down through South America on this pass. But from here, they're saying any time during this window, this thing could come down and fall apart. Now, is it going to be a major threat to people? No, we're not saying that. But what it could do is light up the sky. Uh, you never know where it's going to come down. So until it does, you have to keep an, an open eye and a heads up on this. We also don't know all of the exact components that are on this. Sometimes you can get a bead of the different colors that you see in the sky when this thing's burning up of what was on board. And as of right now, that's the latest. I just wanted to give the heads up and let it be known. You can track this thing all the way up to the moment of re-entry. So if we've got guys tracking this thing with telescope, watching this thing flare up, break apart, and it just so happens to be over a populated area or something like that, people can go into their backyard, pull out their camcorders, and be able to see this thing lighting up the sky. If not, good chance it could fall over water and no one see anything. But you can come over here and you can type in your location and you can see when this thing is going to pass over your neck of the woods. Yep, sure can. And you can see when it's going to pass, when it's going to start, when it's going to end, and you can get all these different passes and the information on those passes over here on this site. So that's where it's at right now. This is a, a really good one. I like this one. Showing in great detail all the junk and crap out there in space. And there's a ton of it. It really puts it into perspective, if you ask me. You get to see just how much of it is out there.
And like I said, this is just sitting right on the outside cusp of the planet, right where you can float and everything else. You're not talking all the way out to the radiation belts. So there's a big space there. This is what is closest to Earth at the moment. Anyhow, I'll keep an eye on this Tiangong 1. We get word it's coming down. I'm going to pull up the site, see where it's at. I'll put the heads up out there. If it looks like it's going to come down over a populated area. And I'll put the heads up out anyway if I get a beat on it that it's coming down. So this has been Dabu7. In the meantime, eyes to the skies.